in its broadest sense instruments that is electrical instruments may be divided into two classes one is absolute instruments and another is secondary instruments absolute instruments gives the value of electrical quantity to be measured in terms of constants of instruments and of its deflection no comparison with another instruments being necessary that means no calibration for example tangent galvanometer being displayed on the screen it gives the value of the current to be measured in terms of the tangent of the angle of deflection produced by current and of the radius and number of turns of the galvanometer and of the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field no calibration of the instruments is necessary the second category is the secondary instruments and they are so constructed that the value of current voltage or other quantity to be measured can only be determined from deflection of the instruments provided the latter has been calibrated by latter latter implies here as deflection latter has been calibrated by comparison with either an absolute instrument or one which has already been calibrated the deflection obtained is meaningless unless such a calibration has been made this calibration is made by an accredited laboratory in and recognized by nabbl that is national accreditation board of laboratories this class of instruments is in most general use absolute instruments being seldom used except in standard laboratories now what are the effects utilized in measuring instruments the effects utilized are electromagnetic induction effect electrostatic effect then chemical effect then heating effect and magnetic effect these are the in broad sense classification of instruments please like comment and subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much